everyone welcome back to city girl living on a budget my name is Julia and in today's video I'm going to tell you about the seven things that I would spend my money on if I got rich overnight and I want to thank Christiana from well behaved wallet because she did a video on this very topic a few days ago called the 10 things she would spend money on if she got rich overnight and I actually couldn't think of 10 things because I was gonna do with that but I actually couldn't think of 10 things I thought of seven so I'm gonna go with the seven and the first thing I would do is pay off all of my debt so I have six figures of debt. I have about $120,000 in debt split over four accounts, two are student loan accounts, two are credit cards. And if I woke up tomorrow and I had a lot of money in my checking accounts, I would log into those four debt accounts and just pay them off. And then I would bask in being debt free. And I would just lay back, probably stare at the ceiling and just like not have to like, it'll feel like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders because I won't have to worry about, you know, making those payments the next month or how I'm going to make those payments the next month. I wouldn't have to worry about any of that. So I would just seriously, like I would just lay back and like, just kind of bask in the relief. <laughs> like, enjoy that sense of relief you get when a weight's been lifted off your shoulders. Um, so once that is over, the second thing I would do is I would put a good chunk into investments. So this is the part where I would still be struggling with because I'm still learning about stocks and investments and all of that. Um, even though I do have a 401k and an IRA, my 401k is managed professionally through the company that I worked at when I had it, um, had like a management company that they used. So it's still managed through that management company. So it's managed for me. And then I have an IRA that I manage myself, but I'm actually considering getting someone to help me with it because, again, I'm not good at this stuff. So I would want to sit down with someone to, like, a, maybe a financial advisor. I don't even know who I would even sit down with to kind of guide me through how I should invest, in, what my, like, I know I should diversify, right? But, like, how should that look? What percentages should be in what types of investments? Um... Do I want to go risky? Do I want to be like, do I want a conservative investor? Do I want aggressive? So it just kind of like, I don't even know where to start determining any of that. So I would need to um, definitely sit down with someone and get advice. So the second thing I would do is put a good chunk into investments after getting some advice from somewhere that I don't even know where I'd go yet. I would have to, I would have to Google around and see what I could find. Um, third thing I would do is pay off my debt for my immediate, immediate family. So this would be my parents and then my brother and sister-in-law. So I don't know what debt they have. Um, but if I got rich overnight, I would tell them, Hey, I got rich overnight and I want to pay off the remainder of your debt for you. Um, so I would do that because I love my family and I don't want them to be burdened. You know, like I know what it's like to have that, you know, weight on your shoulder. You have to make that payment the next month. So I wouldn't want them. I wouldn't want that on their shoulders, just like I don't want it on my shoulders. So I would pay off their debts so they could enjoy their lives, not having to worry about, you know, how they're going to make the mortgage payment, the car payment, I don't know, whatever other bills they have. Uh, the fourth, th the fourth thing I would do is I would start college funds for my two nieces. So I do have two nieces um, and I would give my brother and sister-in-law money for their college funds so they could start saving. Now they are still young. They're both under 10. I'm not going to say their exact ages, but they're both under 10. So I would give them money so they could set up college funds for them. So when, by the time they go to college, they won't have to take out all the student loans that I had to take out or my brother had to take out. The fifth thing I would do is buy myself a house. So one of the things I've been wanting to do for the last five-ish years, maybe a little bit less than five years, I've been wanting to buy a house. Um, a few years ago, I did look at condos. I did put in a, I was under contract on one, but the inspection went bad. So I backed out of it based on the, based on the inspection. And I just never, you know, after that, I never really got back into it until this year, actually, when I started looking again, I moved in with my parents to help save money so I could, you know, get a down payment or just pay, buy a house outright, depending on where I bought it, what kind I bought. 
I've always really liked, realistically, realistically, if I wanted to live in the city of Chicago in a condo, or if I wanted to live, like, I'd have to buy, in the city of Chicago, if I wanted to live in the city of Chicago, I'd have to buy a smaller condo, because those can be cheaper. So, you can get, you know, condos on the lakefront for, like, a couple hundred thousand dollars. They're usually fixer-uppers. Um, the one that I did put a contract in was 170 a few years ago. But that was the one that I backed out of because the the inspection was so bad on it. Although it was move-in ready. Like, if you walked in, you would think this is move-in ready. Like, it doesn't require any work. And then the inspector come through and you're like, well, why am I buying this place? So, you can get condos on the lakefront for cheaper than that. They're small. Um, I've all, I've also really liked like those big old Victorian style, right? Like I've growing up, I always looked at like the bigger houses, Victorian style or Queen Anne. Um, and I realized again this year that you can buy those houses for fairly cheap. Um, but they tend to be in small towns. They're definitely fixer uppers. Some are worse than others as far as damage and repairs needed. Um, but then that's just like what you see in the pictures, right? Like there could be mold or water damage beyond what you see in the pictures. So again, like I really don't know. Um, so at this point in time, if I were to buy myself a house, I would look probably across the United States. I, I don't think I'd limit myself to this area, to the Chicago area. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, I'd probably buy a bigger house. Not that I need one. It's just if I've got the money and I can afford what I what I want, which would be an older Victorian or Queen Anne style, one of those older houses, I would probably just go ahead and buy one of them then, because I could afford it. Um, but again, if I got rich overnight, I would buy a house that was that didn't need any repairs, was moving ready, and that was in that style. Um, so I think I just kind of rambled on there for a minute or two on what kind of house I was looking for. But yes, if number five, if I got rich overnight, I would buy a house, definitely probably a bigger house, four bedrooms, maybe three or four bedrooms, maybe bigger. I don't know, but I'd definitely go for like one of those big old Victorian or Queen Anne or second empire style houses. The sixth thing I would do is I would pick charities to give recurring donations to. So. If I could give more to charity, I would, but I don't have a lot of money to go around right now besides my creditors. So once I do have some money, I would like to give to charities on a recurring basis, probably quarterly. Um, so I would pick charities that are that I donate to now and then maybe some new ones because there are a lot of charities out there that I'm sure there are tons of charities I haven't heard about. So I would go looking for charities, preferably smaller ones. Um, that work within like their own neighborhood to give money to. And then I would set that up on a recurring basis. And then the seventh thing I would do is travel. That's it. Just travel. Cause I love to travel. Um, so yeah, the seventh thing I like, that's it. That's all I have. I just have travel because I literally just want to travel everywhere. I have no, I only want to go here. I only want to go there. I want to travel. So that's what I'm going to do. Just everywhere. Travel everywhere. And actually, I just thought of an eighth thing. So eight things. So I actually, I just thought about this eighth thing. The eighth thing I would do is buy a boat. I just thought about that. Um, but yeah, I have thought about buying a boat over the years as well. Um, but yeah, if I got rich overnight, eight, number eight, buy a boat. So I could enjoy the water. Because I love the water. I love beaches but again it's you know oh right now beaches are closed where I live because the virus so yeah number seven is travel just everywhere I don't have you know anywhere particular I go to is just everywhere pick a spot and I'm going and then the eighth thing I would do is buy a boat so I could enjoy just like be out on the water just kind of enjoy life so thank you all for watching if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you're not, thank you for subscribing. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.